for me, I almost dropped math is because of fraction. I hate fraction, but I kind of started realizing that fraction is, it might be complicated, but it's not that complicated if you know your LCD, GCF, and all that. So it's um, having the support from your teacher and your counselors, it's a big, it makes a big difference in your learning and how you take math and how you see it in a different perspective than when you're just struggling with no support. One of our goals in the, the STEM MPS Jumpstart expansion has been to get more underrepresented students and more female students into STEM fields. The study that we did on our developmental MPS sequence did show that students who had gone through MPS not only did better in those classes, but better in all following math and science classes. So that's been very encouraging. It builds this family of students. So once they're in calculus or Calc 3 or linear algebra, they know they have these people they can come back to, whether it's me, the counselor, their classmates, um, they can help support them. There could be a lot of things that can keep people from not going to Stanfield. Um, it could be not having a lot of resources or not having support from your counselors, family, and teachers. And it could be like major subjects like math because it's really difficult. And, like, and if you don't have a, st a strong pursuit in math, you can't do really well in chemistry and physics and stuff like that. I didn't know like I need to take all this type of math for becoming a physical therapist. Before go yeah, before graduating high school, I was like, I really hate math. And the next thing you know, I'm in my 42.